We've been working through a series of videos about Drupal 10 Layout Builder. As you probably know, Layout Builder out of the box doesn't give us very much. But the good news is there's a lot of contributed modules that really help with this. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And so far we've covered Bootstrap Layout Builder, Bootstrap Modal, and Blocks. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add styles for your background colors and your text colors because, well, out of the box, Bootstrap styles are pretty boring. Let's take a look. I'm on a plain vanilla site with Bootstrap Layout Builder installed, Bootstrap Blocks installed, and as you can see, if I go and look at this block and I want to go ahead and make a different color for the background or the typography, these are the ones that Bootstrap gives you out of the box. Well, I want to do better than that. I want to have a whole bunch of colors like light blue, dark blue, orange, and more text colors as well. Of course, these can be according to your style guide and they should be. That way, content editors can't just choose any color willy nilly. Well, how do we do it? The first step is to head over to Configuration, Content Authoring, and Bootstrap Styles. Click on Background, and you'll add the styles that you want in here. I called mine light blue, blue, and orange, and I kept the format of the CSS class here. So Bootstrap Background Light Blue, Bootstrap Background Dark Blue. And of course, they tell you here, these are just examples. You should use your own theme classes, which is exactly what we're doing. Similarly, if you scroll down to typography, there's the dark blue and the orange text that I added. Now you're only halfway done. Head over to configuration, development, and acid injector and CSS injector. Yes, I'm using acid injector. Typically I would be putting this in my theme, but for testing purposes and the classroom purposes, we're using acid injector. I'm gonna click on bootstrap styles here where I've added all of those styles in. Here's the black text, white text. There's the dark blue text. Now let's take a look at this one as an example. The bootstrap input circles and text dark blue. I give it the background of that dark blue color. And then the bootstrap tooltip. I also give it the background of that color. And then all of the heading tags, the paragraph tag, and any other tag I can think of there's the orange text and the light blue text. Here's the light blue, dark blue, and orange background colors for the actual background areas. And the tooltip one applies to both. Now that I've got those styles in there, I can head over to either a section or a block. And now those colors are available in the background and in the typography as well, in both sections and blocks. Well, I love the flexibility we get with Bootstrap Layout Builder and Bootstrap Styles here because it gives us ability to add whatever colors we want, staying within the style guide that we've created. Well, I hope that's been helpful today. We're in the middle of this journey through Layout Builder. If you want more, well, we've got an entire course at OS Training that is much, much more in depth and takes you step-by-step -step through all of the things we're doing in these YouTube videos. It's at ostraining.com. The link is in the description below. Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We'll see you next time.